back with another edition of Saw Slanging, and we're at Super G Mart. So tell me about this sauce. Go ahead, you can hold it. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this right now, so tell them about it. <laughs> well, this is a Peruvian red hot sauce pepper, so you can use whatever you want in any 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 products, uh, any food, so you, you will enjoy it. And it's ricotto. Yes, a ricotto. All right, ricotto. guys, if you guys don't know what the ricotto is, it is that pepper right there. And it has black Red seeds. It's super, super sweet. And it has, I've ate them fresh before, and they have uh, nice, they stay uh, good for a long time. Right. And the flavor is still to the end, to, to the start at the end. Yes. Right. And that's a Peruvian pepper. This is the Peruvian right. section right here. Guys, he just told me, showed me this, and I said, I'm on it. So I'm going to review this. You guys will see this coming on my YouTube channel soon. So we're at Super G Mart. And um, we want to do like sauce slang and sauce, uh, you know, a, a check back. You know what I'm saying? And see right, if they got right. anything new. And this is new. This is new. Yeah, That's thank correct. you, my friend. What's yeah. your name? Will. Will, I'm Chris. Nice I'm to meet Chris. you. Nice to meet All you. All right. Too. Guys, so we're here. Now, you see they got the Marie Sharps heavy. Um, these guys always have a good, you know, the Belize and Heat and the Beware, probably two of my favorites. The garlic pepper, sweet habanero. I haven't had that one. Uh, the prickly pear cactus. Some people like it, some people don't. I love it, by the way. Um, now, the only one I don't like is this one with the smoke, the smoke and Marie's. I, there was actually two. I think it was the same pep, the same one, but they had a different label. It just tasted like um, like liquid smoke. So uh, it was one of the Marie Sharps that she's had two that were smoky, and I don't know if they were the same sauce or not because one of them I think had a foreign label. But yeah, we got the Jamaican Choice going all the way down. This is the Jamaican section right here. Um, Jamaican Choice. Spur Tree. I think Spur Tree is, is, is better than some of these down here. I, I reviewed some of those. I wasn't too fond of them. Um, then these right here. I see people posting this sauce. If you get this sauce, as long as it, if it sits too long on the shelf, it's not as good. But uh, if you get one that's pretty fresh, this is excellent stuff right here. So, yeah, Jamaican choice. Um, so this is the Jamaican section. It looks like they've got a couple. There may be a couple new ones in here. They got these huge bottles. I don't, I don't know what these, the crushed peppers. Uh, I think those are new. So they look like they've done a, a little bit. Nice meeting you, Will. I'm going to review this. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right, so we'll show you guys some more. Um, so that was the Jamaican section. And across from that, we had the Peruvian section, okay? And this would be the um, Spanish section, of course. Uh, so Frito is, is, is Puerto Rican. That is not a hot sauce. It is, uh, I will talk about that. I'm going to actually do an episode. I'm actually going to make Sofrito on an episode for you guys, and you, your whole life will change. All right, we got the El Yucateco Chili Jalapeno. No, believe it or not, I've never tried that. I've had their green, the green habanero sauce, and I love it. Um, Al La Bravada. Ella Brava, uh, terrible sauce. I'm sorry uh, to burst anyone's bubbles. That is made right here in North Carolina. It is, um, a lot of Mexican restaurants have it. It does not taste good at all. Uh, tapatio, you know, the basic stuff. Uh, come over here. And we got a lot more El Yucateca going on. Um, yeah, their Caribbean is really good if you've never had that. And the Mayan recipe. And there's some other ones down here I've never seen before. So, but yeah, this is the Hispanic slash uh, Mexican hot sauce uh, section. They got some of these, like the plastic bottles. Salsa Brava hot sauce. Green hot sauce. Most of them have green food coloring in them because they don't, I don't know. People like this stuff. The Dutch Cholula's here. So, yeah, we just wanted to do another sauce thing in, um episode slash... Uh, a sauce quest update, okay? The buffalo chipotle. Um, some of these, some of these ones in these plastic bottles. I've tried them at Mexican restaurants. I don't remember, you know, nothing stood out to me. Anything that I really wanted to. Then we got some the bigger bottles down here. Salsa picante. Um, down here on the end, you, you already know they they got the big. This is for the boys in the hood. The big 40 ounce, you know what I'm saying? They're actually 34 ounces, but these are the huge um, Valentina. Um, I think this is the hotter one with the black label. 
This is the... But anyways, this that stuff, I ate that stuff for years, man. Look at that, though. You can't beat that. Look at it. Three bucks, okay? You can't beat it. It's really a good sauce. I ate it for a very long time. Um, I think it's... I think... I mean, I like it personally better than uh, Cholula. Definitely better than uh, Tapatio, for sure. But yeah, man, this is pretty cool. This guy just points out this... Uh, the sauce, and now I gotta find it. I just set it down when I switched hands with the camera. Oh, I got it right here. So yeah, I will be buying this, a Peruvian ricotto sauce. Um, it's more like a, it's a cream sauce. It's a condiment, so it's probably not gonna be hot, of course, because it's made with the ricotto, but this, he says that this is it, man. This is what they eat in Peru. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go um, see what else we got. Okay, you know we got big, big old, big old jugs of sriracha sauce. So, so that's 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 there. Um, over here, let's see, hot chili oils up top. Uh, chili sauces. Okay, so we're starting to see some chili sauces, and then down this way is where you got more, more of the the Asian chili sauces down bottom. Big, huge bottles. Uh, some of them are really good. What I say is go grab, maybe grab two different ones when you go. Because, I mean, look at the price on something like this, you know? Well, that's all. But, yeah. Hold on. I was getting a phone call, actually. Oh, I just put that in my darn pocket. I think I'm stealing it. I was trying to get rid of the phone call. All right. Anyway, so that's about it for that. Don't forget about the peppers. Never, never. All right, so we got some Thai chilies for $1.99 a pound. Uh, they don't look the best, but, uh, well, some of them look all right. So Thai chilies. This is where I come when I want Thai chilies. They do have them year-round here. So there is a lady that's at the farmer's market that has them from time to time, and uh, hers are the best. They are fresh. Um long red hot pepper hmm don't know what that is only a dollar a pound though all right down here's where the good stuff this is where you get into the good stuff so we got the uh the red serrano um finger green they got some nice there we go we got some uh some some red thai chilies some green thai chilies and then they got the uh, red habaneros. Now these are pretty cool. Um, the only thing I don't like, they shouldn't put this wrap around them. It makes them rot, see? See how these are, they're getting moldy. Yeah, you gotta pick through them and really know what you're doing if you wanna find something good. Uh, but these are interesting because when you buy these, you end up finding other stuff in them. Like that right there, okay? That's clearly not a red habanero. It's yellow, it's kind of scorpion or bonnet shaped. Um, but yeah, I found scorpion peppers and ghost peppers and mixed in these packs um, before, in the middle of winter when there's no fresh pods, it's a nice treat. And we got some, uh, some, some orange hobs. They also always, usually, most of the time they have some green habaneros here. So if you're, if you're into that, uh, sometimes they, I do like green, green hob sauce. Um, and then they got some, oh, these are the little sweet peppers. Asito. Yeah, so these are like a, kind of like a scotch bonnet, but with no heat. And, uh, manzanos, of course. So, that's it, guys. I just wanted to just, uh, you know, we'll just do another, it's Super G Mart. They, they've got some, they've got, if you're, if you like looking for spicy food and you're in Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, this is the place to come. They always got lots of limes and, you know, stuff to make hot sauce with. There's all kinds of different spices, sauces, you know, just all over. And there's tons of, you'll see chili sauces all over the place um, here. I think there's more. I think I missed a, a section. because They have everything broken up by, um, you know, but nationalities and stuff like that. But I'm going to get this. Uh, I'm going to get this and I'm going to get me some bulldog. So we got the 2X. Bulldogs right here, uh, which is really good. I love these. 
And they don't, I don't see the 3X though. They don't have the 3X. Why not? The 3X is kind of hard to get. This one is just the, uh, I don't know which one that is. I always get the 2 or 3X, but I don't see them having it. They might on the other side. Look at all this ramen. Yeah. It's hard to find, it's hard to find if, uh, it's hard to find. I can't, some of them I can't read. There's no English on it. So I want to find. I want to find one that's gonna burn my face off. Maybe that one. I don't know. This thing goes on forever. This is all noodles down there, and then it goes around to the other side too. I'll show you guys real quick because I know. I don't know if you like watching videos like this, but I do. I mean, I'm kind of shaky with the camera, so but look at all this noodles, bulldog. So. Yeah, I don't know if they have anything hotter than the 2X. Shin Ramen. Yeah, and this just goes forever and ever and ever and ever. Just ramen galore. This guy's over there stocking ramen. All right, guys. Sauce Quest slash Sauce Slinging. You already know what it is. Uncle Boko, I freaking love you. What?